the Asian markets. They're trading in the green and this after a strong handover coming in from the Wall Street. So buy on dips and if it dips more, you buy more. That's been the strategy that should work. Net net, I think we are about 40-50 basis points higher than where we were at the time of uh, uh, you know monetary policy. A third of a percent higher, so 11,500 is still being held by the skin of its teeth. Financials is one segment which has underperformed the whole uh, uptick from 7,800, 8,000 odd levels. So possibly we will have a catch-up trade. India is, is, it is a downgrade, um, but it's, it's to equal weight. So mm. there's a, a lot, I think, that can still be said that is positive. First the stock move, the recent move. This month it's up 70%. This year it's up 363%. And from the 52-week lows, it's up 1,073%. It's almost like the bottom was hit sometime in May. And then we have seen a continuous acceleration. Axis Bank has now said that they would be acquiring a 17% stake in Max Financial Services. The market is dragging a bit now as we speak. So in the red for the benchmark indices. Ali Davidson, uh, we're given to believe, is in talks with Indian companies. They're very keen to sell the India operations to an Indian automobile manufacturers. There is unprecedented retrenchment in economic activity. That has been observed since the lockdown. Market's up about 11 points. Okay, well, the market's cooled off a little bit after hitting that 11,500 psychologically important mark. The Bank Nifty, of course, still is outperforming third day running. That index is up 0.6%. The mid-caps, too, have cooled off a little bit from the highest point. And the global queues have been as stable as they can get. Uh, so, overall, things are still looking quite good. Uh, let's see what the last hour brings for us. I'm Anuj and with me... The show is Sonia. Sonia, hi, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon, Anand. So, if you hadn't seen the market through the day, you would believe that, you know, it's just a pause, right? Yeah. I mean, nothing much happened today. Mm. Uh, Ho-hum sort of a day. Yeah. I guess just catching its breath after that big marathon. Yeah, you know, uh, Sonia, like we discussed in the morning, you you know, you can't chase breakouts in this market. You know, you can't buy at 11,500 and then hope that the market will bail you out that day itself. Perhaps the market will. Uh, three days later, four days later, one week later. But if you buy the dips, you make a lot of money. And the bank nifty has been very strong. The bank nifty is trying to break out. But again, this, this zone has been very, very tough. As this, uh, you know, the, the importance of 23,200 to 23,300, I've explained in the past as well, in the morning as well. Last time we stalled here, we straight away fell 1,500 points. So that's why it is a very important congestion zone. And today, HDFC Bank has corrected after yesterday's big move. Reliance is a bit soft. Uh, I think these things will happen. By the way, the stock of the moment is Tata Motors. After mm -hmm. that comment from N. Chandra on, you know, perhaps uh, Tata Motors uh, being net debt free in three years. So that's, uh, you know, stock which has done well. Mm, but uh, we'll discuss that as well. That's right now is at the high point, 4%. But on the market, I think, I think it's fine. Uh, and I can tell you that, you know, uh, it will be good for the market if it consolidates a bit more. Uh, the market's... Texture has been one step back, two step forward. And that, you know, not even one step back, half step back and two step forwards. Yeah. I think that, that trend perhaps continues. It's fine. It's healthy, right? I it mean, when the market after so yeah. many days of a big run-up just chooses, chooses to catch its breath. By the way, another important statement coming in from the Tata Motors AGM, and I'll get my colleague Alicia on board as well, is that the passenger vehicle business will be hived off into a separate legal entity by, in the next six to nine months itself. So they're really looking to clean up the books at the moment. Remember, the passenger vehicle business has been something, especially the domestic passenger vehicle business has been under a lot of pressure. It's been loss making. They're saying that JLR will be cash positive this year onwards. So positive statements coming in there from the Tata Motors CFO at the AGM. We'll get uh, more details in a bit. But in the meantime, let's tell you what's lined up on the show today. The markets have been choppy in trade. Uh, they're off the morning highs with the Nifty Bank marginally outperforming the frontliners. We'll discuss these key trends and market fundamentals with SP Tulsian of SPTulsian.com, market expert Anand Tandon and Mayuresh Joshi of William O'Neill. How should investors approach this volatile market and what's the long-term view on the Nifty? We'll track the technicals with Sushil Kedia, the founder of Kedianomics. We've also got a special lineup on the show today. We'll take a deep dive into the stock of the day, stock 360, as well as tracking all the buzzing stocks. We'll get you an insight into dealing rooms and tidbits about buzzing stocks in our segment, D Street Chatter. And as always, our technical experts will take you through some key trading strategies for the last hour of trade. Okay, how should you position yourself in this?